Do you ever forget to back up your files before updating them? Or wish you had historical versions of your datasets to track trends in Power BI? In this quick Power Automate tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a scheduled flow that automatically copies your files on specific dates. No manual effort, no missed versions. Perfect for creating backups, generating historical snapshots, and keeping your data audit ready, all on autopilot. Let's start by creating a scheduled flow that runs daily. Now, head over to the folder where you want to store the backup files and create a new Excel sheet. This Excel file will contain the specific dates on which you want the data to be pulled and copied. Next, let's return to Power Automate. Add a compose action and enter an expression that pulls the current run date of the flow. Format it however you prefer using the format date time function. Then, add the list rows present in a table action to pull the dates you entered in your Excel sheet into the flow. Now, let's add another compose action to convert those Excel date values, which are in number format, into actual date format using the add days function. After that, use a condition action to compare the flow's run date with the date pulled from Excel. This ensures the rest of the flow only runs on matching dates. If the condition is true, we proceed to add a get file content action. This will fetch the file you want to copy as a backup or historical version. Next, add another compose action to create a custom file name that includes today's date. Warning, don't forget to include the correct file extension, like .xlsx for Excel files. Now, use the create file action to paste that copied file into your destination folder using the name you just composed. And that's it, our flow is complete. If we run it now, and today's date is not listed in our Excel file, the flow will run, but no file will be created. Let's go ahead and enter today's date in the Excel file. Now run the flow again, and there it is. Flow status shows successful, and our backup file has been created with the correct date in the file name. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more Power Automate and Power BI tips every week. Your support helps the channel grow and keeps the tutorial